Where are we with that, the potential of the gene therapy for beta thal? Well, I think the first thing that needs to be said is that gene therapy is bone marrow transplant. Yeah, but it's bone marrow transplant with your own bone marrow that has been, uh, uh, it's been corrected. And so I think there's been substantial progress made in the, you know, in the past uh, several years on this. Uh, there's a, uh, this is now being widely uh, opened up in the United States. The cost is huge, and, uh, but it appears to be effective. I mean, there's, I don't know, about 18 patients or so, or a fair well, number, the, the 11 one, have been yeah, treated. Yeah, there are, there are more than that, but right. those uh, who, actually gene therapy has been yeah. registered in Europe, uh, not yet uh, in, uh, by yeah. FDA. But submitted. Yeah, but, 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 but there are uh, some comments we can make on that because we didn't mention that in bone marrow transplantation, although this says there is a risk of graft versus I was going to ask uh, Exactly, because sure. in, in the bone marrow transplantation, you are using stem cells from a donor. Here, the patient's stem cells are manipulated, are harvested and then manipulated, which means they are transduced, transfected with a, 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 a gene, a normal gene, which will work. But the, the gene needs a driver. What is the driver? Is a vector viral, is a viral vector driver. And that's the reason why it took more than 25 years to reach a point because, uh, you know, a viral vector is a risk in some way. But now it's okay. But still there are some. Uh, so, so, some point to be clarified. All right, so let, let's talk, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So a, a couple of differences uh, between bone marrow transplant and gene therapy, sure. right? So bone marrow transplant has to be somebody else's bone marrow. It's an allogeneic bone marrow transplant, whereas gene therapy is autologous, which means that you don't have to worry about matching. You don't have, yeah. this, this can be offered to anybody. Okay, it's you. It's you. Second, the chances of rejection and graft versus host disease are so low or non-existent. It should be zero, theoretically, zero. theoretically right? Zero. Theoretically, it is. Yeah. And therefore, you don't need that immunosuppression for six months or a year after the transplant because it is your own bone marrow. Okay. So, so one, you're opening up access to anybody, whether or not they have a, a donor available because it's your own, and you've, you've reduced the complications that could be associated with an allogeneic transplant. The only thing that we don't really have a good handle on is durability at this point. Because we've had, we have data now that goes out about five years and patients have been quite stable. But the, you know, the question remains, we know from, from allogeneic bone marrow transplant, we, we can say now because as Nika said, the first one was done in 1981. And we have 40 years worth of data and we can say that if you engraft successfully and it's a stable engraftment, then you're, you are actually cured. And you're done. You, you're not. You're not going to. You know, very few people lose their grafts later on. Okay. Whereas with gene therapy, we don't know whether the viral vector will wane over time. Whether they'll. They, you know, the, 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 whether your your stem cells that have been transfected will at some point. You know, be exhausted. The only uh, point uh, which uh, remain uh, for gene therapy still unsolved uh, is the conditioning because yeah. the patients. Uh, has to be conditioned in any way for harvesting the cells. And that uh, is quite uh, demanding. Uh, and, uh, and this, uh, to my experience, something which make patients uh, a bit, uh, 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 let's say, they thought that gene therapy was something uh, more easy. When they understand that they have to go to the process uh, of uh, ablation of the bone marrow, they are not so confident. I, for sure, will suggest gene therapy to children. Yeah, I think well, that, that also there's a concern of fertility. Yes. We still have that with oh, bone marrow course, transplant, um, and the same thing applies again yeah. because, yeah. Of right. condition, because of the conditioning regimens. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so fertility may yeah. be yeah, yeah. Um, a big concern.